Here we are, Sound of Voices is back up in Leeds. Uh, last time we were here we were doing uh, the Thackeray Museum just up around the corner here and when we were there we had local people tell us to really come down to Armory Mill to give it a go. Uh, the local security was telling us, I guess, we were just excited to get involved with this and so finally a couple of years later here we are at Armory Mill. Before we started our night's investigation around the mill, the team first decided to do a walk around to see if Sally and Claire could pick up on anything. Tell me how the sound changes in here. Yeah. Mm. Silence. Out there, there is a picture of a really short, fat man. I can't remember his name. He, uh, he's here. He'll be in that office. Okay. I've got. I can see him. Like. Really having a temper tantrum, banging his hands on the table, really not very nice. What, if we were to go in there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's very, very money orientated. So Ooh. it might be worth taking Get some, some money. money out. Yeah. He's just greedy. Mm. Really loud noise. Really, 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 really loud all the time. And it's not even just about accidents, it's about health, uh, health conditions as well. The conditions it would have been. Um, with all this machinery, what it would have caused people the suffering. So it's not it's not all about the accidents. It's it's a lot more. Um, you know, like how people have found asbestos to be an issue, health issue. It's like there's wool and fibres that would have been air airborne. Mm. Blocking lungs. Yeah. Lots of things floating around in the air and and um, constantly just breathing all of all of that in, as well as the accidents with heavy machinery, which is which people know about. Malnutrition is probably as well. Malnutrition, but also damage to the ears. So everything around head area is, is affected by what would have been going on. It's almost as if I see the blood coming down. I feel it burning. Where it comes down there mm. and coughing, <coughs> constantly coughing and mucus and blood because of all the fibres and the sound and it's just so humanely wrong. What do you pick up with that, with him? And that frustration. Um, gripping. That picture zooms in on his eyes. His eyes seem to focus mm. to me. He's, um... Not in this area though. He's he's not in this area. But we'll be meeting him tonight. Alex is back, isn't he? Doing his usual thing. That's it. He's such a child. Though, because I can feel it swirling around my head. What have you seen? I'm taking pictures in that mirror. For some reason, I needed to take a picture in that mirror. But it looks like there's something there. Yeah. If, to me, it looks like the shape of a dog. Like, there's the backbone, there's the back leg, mm. there's the front leg, as if it's running. 
So then I took a picture straight away, straight after. There's literally nothing there. Yeah, and that was you could say it's a sun. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I took a second picture, because obviously I saw this. But the first one. So you took three in, in total, right? I took two. I took that one, the first one I took, but obviously yeah. <clears throat> nothing in there. Then I took that one, which I caught that, and then I took that one. There's nothing there. I'm not sure if I'm hearing things off. For the last couple of days, all I've heard is voices. And I think they're checking us out as much as we're checking them out. They're going to be just as curious as what we are. They've never met us before. Isn't the lady with red hair? She was being followed by about five little kids, just like trotting along after. And um, I'm going to speak to her later. I reckon if she's, I said she's still here, that she does, she must know she gets followed around by these kids. It's like the Pied Piper. That's what she said to you. Well, when I turned around and said about the male, oh. and, she, and I said, "Don't tell me too much." Yeah. And she went, "Well, not down this end." And I went, "No, over there." And she went spot on. Yeah, she's back. she's. Oh, she's quite switched on. I mm. think she can. But it's when she walked. When she walked through, it was like the Pied Piper. It was all these like, and it was all these little kids like the sort of this sort of high, just sort of trotting along behind her. And it was, but she, she's definitely. Um... This is weird. It feels like it's someone in. I feel like I want to cry. That's really weird. I felt tearful. You know where that picture <laughs> where the man was, a welled up. The, the one with the kids, I welled up then, it made me feel really... And I thought I had a, like a breeze like you did. I had a cold house. breeze here yeah. when you were talking about the red-haired lady. I felt a cold breeze. Just walk up to me, that's why I put my hand out, because then he walked away. A lot of the time with kids, they it's like children that are alive. The, you, the children know a nice person from a not-so-nice person. I, I saw something move. That's why I looked at it. Yeah, so okay. yeah. I, I saw a shadow. It's been getting a feeling there's something in there. Yeah. And my elbow has just gone really really cold ice cold i don't know if it's worth you standing here and shooting sally because there's shadows that, and i cannot tell who they, they are i thought they were from there the light from there's a cold breeze there yeah it's but, it's yeah i'm actually can I'm you not see moving. them on the far wall or far wall on the wood now there's one super tall one that's not moving and Mike's moving. In fact, I've just seen Mike's. It, Mike's shadow is on the I'm piano. Yeah, and now I'm getting yeah, the, cool breeze the cobweb feeling. Mm. So I was getting to there, but it's really tingly, it's full yeah. of light. And the cold is going up my arm. It's almost like, um, you know in movies when you see ice spreading? That's what it's like. It's going up my arm. But it's constant on my elbow. There's my shadow. Right, Sally, if you can put your hand up. Stay still, Alex. And there's something in between our shadows that's Shh. slowly getting taller and taller and taller. But it's strange because whereas I would normally see it, I can't see anybody stood behind you, but I can see a shadow. Mm. The coal is going, it's moving off. It's moving off my arm. Just before you said that, they went blurry in for a brief second. <laughs> Come and speak to us. We're aware that you're around us. Do you want to make yourself known? It's coming back. It went blurry again, after you said that. Yeah, it's moved away from my elbow, but I can still sort of... It's almost as if I've got, like, um, a bubble around me now. And... Um, like, a, an inch away from the bubble, there, there it's like swirling, like, wind, like, breeze swirling. But it's away from me now, not touching me. It's coming around the front of me now. Did 
you ever use to sit on these seats? If you did, could you lift one up or put one down? <clears throat> is this your area? Is this what are you used to like doing? Did, was that? I thought I heard something. Inside here? Yeah. Yeah. Which means they're like creaks. Yeah. Is this where you used to sit? In these chairs? Do you have a particular seat that's yours? I'd like to have my own seat. Would you like to show me what seat you're sat on? Which is your favourite? Do you want to sit on it? Make a noise on it? Lots of feelings, cobwebby feelings, static, electric, cold spots, lots of things going on, but they're not ready to show themselves as to say. So this is going to be an interesting area to do yeah. spread out. Yeah. Okay. Cinema room. I reckon we'll get things happening in here. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't know if it's a grown or if it's something either. Yeah, like a chair drag or a dog thing. The camera also picked up this strange sound. Listen very closely and see what you think. <laughs> Do you know what? All around this place feels like. Um, children, what would you do if you were a kid living around here um, when you weren't working in the mills? Like, can you imagine playing around here and having no parents because they're doing something else? And so you get a sense of children around just here. everywhere. And like when we were sat up in the cinema, I had um, in my head a picture of a little boy sitting on the edge of the canal and then whoops, go in the canal. And that's it, there's no getting them out, is there? Steve was down here a few moments ago and he said, children on the opposite of the door that makes us have sweat with children playing around. Yeah, it makes, I think, this whole place feels like, and I suppose the fatalities are probably more more children than adults for, not just because of accidents, but because of illness, malnutrition, everything else. So can you imagine the build-up of ch children's energies in here? Because also being a child, you would know nowhere else. If you were born here and you were raised to five or six and then you passed away here, died by getting crushed. That's an intense pain all down the side of my shoulder, my chest, like inside, um, internal damage, completely and utterly this whole side just crushed right in. And the closer I get, the more I walk this way, the more I'm feeling the crushing, so I'm not going to go any further. I don't know if it's that or if it's something further. It's, it's something very, it's very charged, solid. Something um, doesn't it doesn't stop. Whereas if you were to get trapped by that, it would probably stop. But whatever crushed this person isn't stopping. It's just going and going. It's this face that always stands out. So these are the people that have died here that obviously wanted to get into the photo or something? So, yeah, yeah. 
that's definitely yeah that's one, one. yeah that's what i said they're all grouped together so you've got one, one there. two three four that one? you've got a shadow here you see it better with that it's almost yeah. like they're it's almost like they're grouped behind all these people and then yeah it's almost like this whole row if you look carefully is a row of people that have passed that hand is just random unless it's someone stood off to the side and didn't quite make it into the shot well, no because you'd see their body yeah there'd be something there wouldn't it? You'd see well, something there, there, there yeah. isn't anything there. There's no connection to a body no, there. See and there's there's nothing in between here to say that that's some, well, someone's hand. That, but then that, that farm would be on this side. Hmm. That's certainly an intriguing picture, isn't it? If you ever go to Armley Mill to have a look at this picture, we'd be fascinated to hear your opinion on this. We have finished our initial walk around and decided to head back up to start our investigation. So it's really weird. Um, I feel like I've seen that hallway before. Up on the stairs. And then you've got a door, a door, a door. And a door. Did you ever have anything covered in plastic? Anywhere? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't work here during the day. But not while I've been here. But they probably will have had things covered in plastic because because it's a museum, things come and go as well. Mm -hmm. So I would presume that because in, you know they put maybe put plastic sheeting over it. And have you got an old Victorian chair here? There's some chairs in there. <coughs> Room across there that can't be open, that's the one too. So it, it's more like it's so if I describe there. it, would you know? Off the top of my head, no, I wouldn't. Okay. Are you thinking you can see? Well. I, can you see it? I have seen a place like this before, years and years and years ago, in a dream, and it was very um, prominent to the point that I have never ever forgot and I always thought I'll see that place one day. This is going back 15 years ago and I walked through the door and I went up the stairs and there was a landing and the chair was on the landing. I'm looking at the chair and there is an energy, not so nice energy, connected to the chair that um, dominate children. It was very dominant over children. And then I'm on the outside of the building and I'm shouting up, jump out the window to a child. And there are candles flickering. Because I didn't work that out till later. What I saw was like lights flickering. So I worked it out to be candles and I'm telling the child to jump because he's coming to get the child and he hurts the child. I don't know, I don't, <coughs> but it's almost as if I would be stood and there was door, door, door and I don't know whether or not there would have been a door here. Um, who's that? I just felt a cool breeze across that finger. I was wondering. <coughs> Thomas Priestley. About this guy. Yes. <gasps> yes. Are we all in? We doing another session in here, are we? Um. Manager's house, Weaver's cottage. Uh, it was upstairs, what's now all yeah. the offices, that would have been the bedrooms. So that's all of them. And as you go up the stairs, is there a landing? Yeah, there's a little square here, and then you sort of go through, and then what would have been all the bedrooms? You just saying a square is yeah. where the chair was. Okay. 
Would there have been children here? Oh God, yeah. Um, there were a lot of cruel to the children in this because um, they had to they put to work as soon as they could walk, basically. So no childcare. So the, the parents went to work in the mill, they had to come to work in, with them and to earn their keep kind of thing. They were put to work and they had to go under the loads of machinery and those, those machines weren't turned off until the end of the working day. There was limbs lost, there was hands to the head, fingers lost, arms lost. A lot of cruelty as well, and, and the children used to get beaten. It's funny you should say that because we did a walk around, and do you guys remember me set, saying about the equipment? And once the equipment was on, it didn't get switched off, and so many accidents happened because, yeah. as far as the the owners or whoever ran it were concerned, I don't care how you fix it, I want it fixed, and I don't care what happens to you. Yeah, just so many accidents. Nobody cares, don't care, just get it fixed, don't care about you or, or how, how you get it fixed, that's what it does to you, I don't care, just, just do it. Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what I was picking up on, on the machinery mm -hmm. in the museum. Um, also about the health conditions that um, with a lot of um, stuff in the air was yeah, airborne. Yeah. And it's not even just about accidents, it's about health, uh, health conditions as well. And coughing, <coughs> constantly coughing, and mucus and blood because of all the fibres and the sound. There's, uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of deaths, and they used to lay bodies out in another part further on. Um, and but everything sort of came under the umbrella of consumption. It was all, but it was a lot of um, lung problems because of the fibres, and there'd been two fires as well there. So there was. A lot of smoke and a lot of smoke inhalation, yeah. yeah. The woolen yeah. Yeah. fibres and things that and, and that's why the children were put underneath the lungs as well to collect all the A lot of and coughing, yeah, a, a lot, lot of people coughing. have blood because of the fibres yeah. in the lungs and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I also found that with the machinery it was um, so loud mm. and the vibration and it damaged their eardrums yeah. and the uh, sort of almost saw drips of blood out of ears and things like that where they were just constantly in that environment all the time. Yeah, because they were on for about 16 hours a day at some point. And the energy <coughs> that was here, so whether or not he's connected to this building or whether or not he's connected to the main building, um, we'll find out. We finished our team building circle and started our communications with Spirit. As you will see, our team member Mike would have caught the attention of one of the resident spirits. <laughs> Try saying something, Mike. Why are you attacking my back? Can you let us know why? Make one of the colours flash. Touch the metal rod, see if you can make it colour. This was only the beginning for Mike. You will see later some amazing evidence to back up his claim of a spiritual attachment. We sent most of the group downstairs to conduct an experiment in the basement while we continued to make sense of everything that we'd experienced so far. He's not wearing anything and it's like, it's, it's a little bit, I wouldn't say it. Vulnerable. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's, I don't know, he seems really, really shy in that, but I think actually he could probably, probably come up here. Okay. But that guy, the one that was stood next to me, he... And it, oh, I'm hoping he's going to come up with a he digital like mic. He came up beside me, and I we stood there, and I could see him there next to me. And I was just thinking, wait, he's not communicating because he's watching, and he obviously doesn't want any of us here. Um, and the next one, I turned round and looked at him. He went <laughs> like that in my face, which is I jumped back, <laughs> hit the door for him. I'm thinking, I saw you when you did that. That frightened the life out of me. He's, he's the solitude one that doesn't want to... Yeah, he's not nice. He's like got grey... He's quite tall. He's about this sort of height. He's got grey hair. He's got quite a long nose. And he's just coming across as being dressed in black. But I don't think that's particularly what he would have worn. It's just he hasn't shown me what the rest of him looks like. Mm -hmm. But his face is quite like... You know, some people you see and you like, and some people you don't, and they seem quite almost rodent-like. That's how he looks. He's got small eyes, long nose. Mm. He's like got grey hair, 
Would you say that his voice is really deep? He hissed at me. I saw <laughs> that was the bit that I got. I didn't hear. Because in my dream that I had, like that, 15 years ago, when I'm shouting at the child. As Sally starts talking about her dream again and describing what she had seen, a strange orb appears through the door behind Kelly and moves around her and towards the camera. So watch very carefully. And I'm, I can feel my panic. I know it wasn't me. And I'm, I can feel my panic. I know it wasn't me. Whoever the energy is seems to be paying a lot of attention to Mike. We gained no further evidence within this area, so we decided to move into the main building. So anyway, we are in Armley Mill Museum in Leeds. Um, we've had our warm-up session, seance. We've had some good evidence. Um, I was swaying, which is an experience on itself. Um, Mike, who are joining, who we are going to join now, did personally attacked, which he will explain to shortly. Yeah, we just cracked ourselves in the group. Oh, it's this! That was me, that was me. He's <laughs> our northern manager, if you like, Mike. Where are all these seats? Quiet. Oh, we'll sort of them down, some of them up. Yeah, but wasn't that one down? No, that's it. Yeah, that's right. Mike, do you want to explain what happened to you in that on our first yeah, yeah, no, was, yeah. session? So basically, stood in the circle. Uh, I could feel like a pencil was jabbing somebody, by jabbing me in the back around here. Uh, every so often, uh, it didn't phase me at first. Obviously, I could feel it annoyed me. I wanted to know what it was basically, uh, and then as the Time grew on, it felt like there was pressure, so somebody was forcing a fist into my back. Mm -hmm. um, the meat was going off constantly when I was in the room. As soon as I left the room, nothing. It was crazy, mental, don't understand it. Uh, Alex captured a video of me in the room uh, with the, the meter going off. As soon as I left, uh, the meter would go off, came back in the room, we're going off again. It told me to leave again as I left the second time. An orb flew out of the room straight after me. Um, and also, I've taken pictures on my phone tonight and I've caught an orb walking straight in front of me. And I'm yeah. flying past straight in front of me. So, yeah. And I'm still getting back pain slightly, slight twinges every now and then. Yeah. So, obviously, there's something in here 
that doesn't like me because no. I'm the big guy around here. Yeah, and if I pan away from Mike, he's not a small lad, he's quite tall. <laughs> tall, tattooed. Yes. Beast. Yeah. Beast mode. Yeah. Basically yeah. a beast. Yeah. A mountain. And also the, the guy who's in here doesn't like me one bit. He really doesn't. No. Our Lord and Leader has arrived. Ah, oh, yay. We've got the toys set up. Not yet. I'm just getting everyone ready. According to Mike's book, he just bought some of his seats to take him. So what's his seat? Ooh, yeah. Put some of that down. And as I walked in here on my own, I saw a head shoot down there. And he's got a picture of an orb flying in as well. Oh! Oh, 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 oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's something Alex would play That was funny. Okay, so some of these seats are down. Do a new experiment, there's a plasma ball. How does it look on the screen? That's good. So if anyone touches it, anything that is, it'll go to said area where it's been touched. So that one's set up. That's pretty cool actually, isn't it? Move your energy around the people. Let us see you. Where are you sat? That far away from the plasma ball and it picks up on me. So it's already picking up on my energy there. You said and then ask, come away. Miss the sky said ask for Andrew. Sorry? Ask for Andrew. Is there anyone called Andrew here? Can you come towards me? And just like what I'm doing, you can put your energy close to this <coughs> plasma ball, it won't hurt you. And you can just let me know <coughs> that you're here. Can you do the same thing? Can you move closer? Put your energy closer. You can do the same as me. We've got lots of things in here that you've probably never seen before. Lots of people. Notice here there is no reaction from the REM pod until the name Amanda is called out. There's a lot of energy that you're welcome to use. You don't need to ask permission. You can go up to the global and you can put your hands on that and you can use the energy. Or you can choose someone that's sat around. We've got the name Amanda. Come on. Sorry? We've got the name Amanda. Come on. Amanda. <coughs> Hello, Amanda. Is that your name? It's a very pretty name. Is there anything that we can do for you? Would you like to sit right next to me and use my energy? Notice how it stops flashing when Sally's attention is taken away. You can push this seat down. Where does footsteps coming from? I think Steve's left the room. Yeah. Damn it. And starts flashing when her attention is back again. You're more than welcome to sit next to me. Good word, Hannah. Hannah. Hammer. We've got a woman on, on live whose name is Amanda. Cool. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> Can you see the teddy that's on the other side as well? It's a really, really nice, soft teddy. You can touch it if you want. You can stroke and see how soft it is. Just to show you how dark it really is, we turn off the night vision camera. With no more communication within the theatre, we all headed upstairs to carry on with our investigations.
Mops. Glasses, kill attach, suit, red tie, uh, swept over hair. Looking at me through the glass, that glass. What did I say to you downstairs from here? That picture. Oh. I said yeah. to you he will show himself yeah. tonight. His eyes, his eyes seem to focus mm. to me. He's, um, not in this area though. He's, he's not in this area, but we'll be meeting him tonight. Yeah. Who would you be just like, piercing eyes, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, big curl attach. Yeah. Swept over hair, young looking. Yeah. But he looks similar to that guy downstairs. Yeah. Younger than, yeah. Everyone was starting their session upstairs and feeling different bits and pieces. At the same time, I was over the other end of the building, downstairs on my own. This is a quite an amazing place. I'm down here on my own now. I can't go through that door there because that leads into uh, the Queen section. I think it's just cut off to us. As you can hear, completely on my own now. You lot voted for it. You wanted me to be on my own somewhere, and here I am. Everyone's gone back upstairs. And I'm on my own at this end of the building now. So if there's anybody in this room with me, can you make yourself known? Can you bang? on something for me. If you're associated with any of these objects, make a loud noise. One of the things I like to do during Ghost Hunt is to take my mind off of looking. Sometimes I like pay attention to things around me and go into my own little world. Because the main majority the people who aren't connected, who see and hear and experience any paranormal activity tends to do it when they're just minding their own business. I wasn't getting much in the way of responses down here. As I started paying more attention to the objects in the room, my flashlight started to play up. Was this paranormal interference? Okay. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Why? Stop flashing my light. Hello, my bloody torch. With nothing else to report down here, I decided to head back up. Go through this door. To the next area. There's a small room. Through here. There's another stairwell down. And down these stairs. Is an old children's uh, classroom, school classroom. Fortunately, we're not allowed in there. And there are some sensitive areas that we're not allowed to go poking and prodding around. And there has been reports of different things being moved, noises banging. And apparently one of the most active places in the building. So it's a shame we're 
can't get in there. What the hell was that? Ooh, I don't feel like I'm on my own here. I'm the overseer here. I dislike lateness. <gasps> Very on time. That's what I saw. I he was really looking at me through that class. Um, I, I almost feel like I really want to push his buttons. Mm. So is everybody okay? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sure. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah. I'm the big guy. <laughs> I'm just going to get through first. William, I know you're the overseer yet yeah, in this bit. I'm the big guy around here. So if you want to show yourself, let yourself know that you're here, do it now. I'm the big guy, prove yourself to me. Come on, William, give me more than that. I'm not scared of you. You don't intimidate me. Like I said, I'm the big guy. Let's see what you've got. I can hear you tapping, but I want more. Show me what you've got, come on. Use the energy in this room, show us what you've got. I'm not scared by you, I've just seen you through that window. I saw you looking at me. I think you're scared of me. Oh, I just got an orb on my left above Kelly. Above and these two? 
Yeah, and Come on, William. The light going through the doorway. If you need that whistling sound, then whistle again for me. Is that you, son, next to me? Trying to show you force. Never will be coming towards you. Yeah, there Come you on. go. Come on, William. I'm the big guy. You don't scare me. If that's you, stood next to me, come on. Show me what you've got. Whistle in my ear. Touch my ear if you want. Show me what you've got. I'm not scared of you. It's getting very dark around you. Yeah. I've got pain in my leg again. Come on. Is that you? Touching my leg. Doesn't scare me. I'm not intimidated by you. Make a sound, let me know that you're here. I don't think you're the big bully around here. I'm the big bully, not you. Come on, show yourself. Oh, here he comes. There he is. Come on, William. Yep. There he is. Static. My hairs are going up. Yeah, yeah. It's just rushing in now. Keep going. Come on. If you see this thing in front of me, Make it flash. Show us that you're here. I'll put the light on it. If you can see this light, come straight to this and make it light up. Show me that you're the big guy around here, yeah? Come on. I'm the big guy. You don't scare me. Let us know that you're here. Move something, tap something. trying to move now. Whoa. Is that you pushing me? Yeah, I can feel you pushing me now. Yeah, they're actually pushing me. There's a right force pushing me now. Mm -hmm. Come on. Is that all you've got? <clears throat> I'm not scared by you. Push me all you want. It's not going to work. Come on, you don't scare me. You can push me, but I don't care. He feels that you're stopping him from doing a routine check. They're just pushing me. There's some, there's some at the back of me pushing me, and the ones at the back, or the, the front of me are pushing me. They're like this. Just surrounding. After getting plenty of personal experiences within this room, everything started to quieten down. Was the group really getting spiritual communication from William the Overseer in this old workhouse? It was cold, didn't it? No, the door's open, isn't it? That's why. Oh, I thought I was With not much happening within these areas of the mill, and with very little time left for investigating, we thought it'd be a good idea to try one last time down in the old cottages. Um, I think the cottage, especially at witching hour, let's go do it. Come forward. Come and talk to us. The quicker you come and communicate, the quicker we'll leave. Any words coming up? 20 came up at first. 20? Mm. Oh. 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 
Did you hear that out there? Yeah. yeah. Shuffles on that. That came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. My legs have gone really cold now. My back's really cold. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's going to be ages since I've done it like that. Oh, oh. yeah. So she walked over it. Was you trying to tell us to go? Did you not like the sound? The vibration? The materials, this steel. Just the I heard that. As if. 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 Unfortunately, the camera didn't pick up the footsteps and the humming, but we did capture the surprise sound. Listen carefully. Yeah. He stood right next to you. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see? Yeah. He's just took a step back. Are you feeling yeah, anything like that? Yeah, I put my arm like that. Stroke. Cold breath. My arm. My oh. There you go. What about you? It says far. Far? This one says struck. It's a violent struck. Script far. Mm. Struck as in now. That's what the how they mm. use. Walk they now, read now. Mm. I sound mm. like I couldn't speak then. I was like stuttering. Uh, struck. Yeah. Have, you just, have you just felt anything like it? I felt like ice cold. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 I've just oh. had a couple of flashes on here. Yeah. Oof. Can you come forward? Stop. Well, I don't think, do you know, I know some stuff, I don't think he can walk. I don't know if he's born deformed, but his legs don't work from the knee downwards. So let's see, it's, it's really grotesque, crawling on the floor. And that's why I wonder if it's all over here, it's all cold from the knee down. Okay. And I've seen that there. on the live in the main building, somebody said there was somebody on the floor like a golem. Yeah. I'd like to say thank you to all the guests and the staff at Harmony Mill and the team who got involved. It was a great night for all. Even with its long, gruesome history and its dark, scary corridors, we still left absolutely buzzing after a night at such a great location. <laughs>